Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with FGO Solomon's trailer reaction. It came out recently and I'm going to react to this obviously because I'm a big FGO play like you know fan. I play FGO for quite a long time. You guys must have guessed it from the uh, title and <coughs> I've been waiting for this for quite a long, long while and <laughs> yeah it's great it's here and i really love the fact that you know they are um, adapting these like you know these gameplay arcs these singularities hopefully the lost pills as well as you know like as time goes on and solomon is here now one thing i have to say is i like it's been a while that i've played solomon so i kind of forgot most of the things so obviously when the movie comes out everything will be refreshed so i'm going to like you know react to this trailer and hopefully i'll remember a few things here and there and uh yeah also the link to the original video will be given down in the description box below if you have not checked it out you can go and check that out as well and also so yeah and another thing i have to say is like i do fgo stuff uh once a week or sometimes two two, uh, two times a week so everything fgo related in my channel will be uh, linked down below there's a playlist in my description box as well uh, my fgo playlist if you go there you can find my other stuff that i did with fgo all reactions some gameplay and some summoning you know uh, stuff like those and i like plan on doing more fgo related stuff in the future as well so yeah all right so i think this this like a uh, recent like just came out i think two hours ago and i'm reacting to it now so i think there will be no subtitles i know japanese a little bit so i can be your little local translator you know <laughs> as far as my knowledge you know goes uh, about japanese it's been uh, seven or eight years i've been watching anime so i know a little bit of japanese so i can like you know translate a little bit so let's check this movie uh, trailer out first and I'll talk about my impressions and like everything else later on after I finish reacting to it. So here we go, Fate Grand, Ar Grand Order, uh, Solomon trailer reactions. Start. Damn. There you go. Uh, I'm going to translate it after I finish watching it. Damn! The animation looks nice, I have to say. Whoa! Damn, John the Ark! みんなここまで全力だった。自分たちしかいなかったからやってきた。だから俺も自分にできることを精一杯頑張ります。この選択を。Whoa! the face. Damn, that's some evil face. Enkidu! Mordred! Oh yeah, they come! I can remember now! All of them come! During the final battle. Wow, okay. Oh, Cloverbox is going to do this. I saw. I saw. Uh, where was this? Here it is. Damn, Babylonia was amazing. I am. There we go. Cloverbox. I am really looking forward to the animation. So, okay. This is good. I have high hopes for this. Okay. Um, 7.30. Oh. July. July 30th in th theaters. So, it will take almost six months. That means... Uh, for it to come digitally so we're probably going to get it in the beginning of 2022 something like that all right so okay um, i'm going to watch it again and i'm going to like you know kind of translate it like the first time i watched it i kind of like watched everything uh, from start to uh, the end so i'll try my best to kind of say what they are you know saying in japanese uh, like as far as my knowledge goes 
Okay, let's see. Uh, like I'll start it again. Here we go. I, like, I might uh, pause a bit to actually understand. Uh, now that you think about it, it's a fight that we have started from uh, loss. Reshift program start. The enemy is uh, the Mage King Solomon. That is a gate. Um, okay, um, uh, it's uh, a miracle that has been brought directly from God. Uh, something like that, they're saying. Is uh, King Solomon really a servant? Why are you fighting? You guys are what? You guys, what have you actually seen? This, uh, the ultimate master of humanity. The final master of humanity. Okay, uh, lift your head up. This is you and ours. Uh, this is our story of getting the future back. Well, isn't it? You... What do you wish for? Okay, wait a minute. What did she, he say? Oh, we have uh, given our best up until now. Uh, we were the only ones left, so we had to do it. That's why we... Uh, that's why I will do whatever... Uh, the, uh, the utmost I can give, I'll uh, do it. This choice you and Marsh have taught me. Uh, this Romani is speaking. Senpai? Senpai? Can you hold my hand once again? Oh, yeah. Of course. What? What did he say? Okay, I, I can't catch that. What What is he saying? Okay, I don't know what he said. This one I cannot translate. I don't know what he actually means. He says something is starting. That's all that I could get from that. Wait a minute. Is this narrow? This is narrow, isn't it? Damn! My life. Even if it ends. Even if it's one second more. I want to see the future. I am Fujimari Ritsuka. A lot of people has helped me. Uh, in representing a lot of people I am here. I'm Caldea's master. Wow, that was a bit difficult to translate. Uh, I think probably I was able to correctly translate it as far as my knowledge goes. You know, so yeah, there's only one portion that I was unable to, you know, understand what they were saying. But I think that's mainly what they were like, you know, kind of saying. Like everything that I said most probably is correct. <laughs> like I at least have that amount of confidence in my Japanese after watching anime for eight years, you know. <laughs> okay, that's like a little flex that I'm doing here. So, you know, but anyways. So, yeah, this is um, uh, the Solomon's uh, trailer. And I have to say... Uh, one thing that I'm really glad about is Cloverworks is doing the animation. I loved Babylonia's animation. It was fantastic. The sound effects were so good and everything. And I have to say Camelot was kind of a little bit of a letdown comparing it to Babylonia. You know, like if, if Babylonia was like Babylonia, like, you know, uh, what can I say? Like set the hurdle too high. So like Camelot coming in kind of felt a little bit lackluster comparing it to Babylonia. So obviously this is something that we're going to see like Cloverworks is going to do the animation. I, I can kind of saw, I kind of saw that Cloverworks is written. So I'm guessing that Cloverworks is going to do the animation. So yeah, so I like I can say that the animation would probably be at par with Babylonia or it might even surpass it. So that's one thing that I am really glad about. And I kind of forgot a few things what actually happened in Solomon. So that will also kind of be a refresher 
you know like i get reminded of the uh, like the actual happenings what happened in the uh, game and uh, one thing i remember like after seeing this trailer i kind of remembered is uh, um, a lot of servants come in in this uh, like you know so we're going to see a lot of servants for example from the last um, poster we can see like uh, we saw enkudu before and john d arc nero and who else and there's a nightingale we also saw like nightingale was there and who else was there just a sec um let me just check Okay, John D. Archistes, Gilde Reis, Kyohime, Marie Antoinette, Siegfried, Mozart, Nero, Enkidu, Mordred, Nightingale. I think Bedivere is here as well. Yeah. And, um,. One thing I have to say, the, the main major thing I really uh, like, I remember, like I won't go, I'm, I'm not going to say anything here because it will really count as a big spoiler what actually happens. And you know, like uh, people who have played the game must understand what I'm talking about. The major thing that happens in Solomon. So that was a really big surprise when I played the game. So I'm really looking forward to see that animated. And you know, like that is like the biggest turning point of the whole game what actually happens but in the end almost in the end i'm not going to say anything because it will count as spoilers people like you know uh, for everyone who has not played the game so yeah and obviously da vinci romani they are all like already here like they are like the staple pe people who are always there and we'll also see the the you know the wizard uh, like you know the, the solomon the grand grand mage the grand caster solomon and uh, yeah this is going to be good and um one thing i have to say is like i think uh, there's only one uh, this is a movie in a movie format isn't it like solomon was quite short in the game so i'm guessing one movie will be enough to adapt the whole thing uh, i think so most probably so yeah like it won't be a problem i'm guessing and yeah this is great this is great like you know great news we have already have the trailer and it's going to come out in two or three months obviously we'll have to wait for the digital versions to come out and yeah fantastic news I, I i love it and i really hope they keep continuing to you know to do these um fgo projects in the future as well and like you know like you can they can uh, start adapting the what do you call them um uh, the lost bells the lost bells they can start adapting the lost bells like that would be uh, amazing and uh, yeah like like it, it, it's just such a great like you know day for uh, fate fans like i remember those days when like i like I, when i first played the visual novel of fate stay night and i like you know there was on the, only the um, fate route that is the uh, saber's route was animated at that time and under blade works came out a little uh, like you know a lot after that uh, by UFO table and you know like uh, like I was uh, uh, what do you call it I, like I knew nothing about the fate universe at that moment and then like uh, like after like you know playing the visual novel I really liked like the whole fate universe then I started getting into the whole type moon franchise I played Tsukihime I uh, you know I saw, uh, like what else was there um, then I saw Carnival Phantasm. Yeah, I remember that. I saw Carnival Phantasm, and um, then like came uh, like Unlimited Blade Works. I started watching that. Then came, uh, then I started playing uh, uh, Fate Grand Order. Then I started Fate Grand Order, and after that, like when I started Fate Grand Order, I was still not such a big fanboy of Fate. But I think Fate Grand Order was the major turning point when I really started loving Fate. Like, uh, you know, the whole Fate uh, franchise, so many servants and everything. I really loved, started loving it so much. And like, uh, like all the credits goes to Fate Grand Order for like, you know, for making such a big fan of this whole franchise. So yeah, I like, at least I will be definitely excited of whatever project they do on Fate Grand Order. In the future as well like the lost bills are amazing the uh, epic of the remnants are also amazing and obviously the like, camelot has been uh, is going to be ad adapted the second movie and we are having solomon as well so yeah it's great and uh, i really hope uh, you know like the other uh, fate projects are also like started for example fate i think uh strange fake this this uh, which is i think uh, um 
and gilgamesh is the main uh, you know main servant i think in fate strange way isn't it and gilgamesh and enkidu and there, there are a lot of others as well i think i don't know but there are like uh, oh koha is i think where like okita uh, okita soji is the main servant isn't it i think it has a manga i've not read it so if those have start have animes you know and nobunaga is also there in koha is i think like if those starts like you know having anime as well i'll be so happy i really like hope they keep doing these type of like adaptations because fate is a franchise that i am really looking forward to you know like the all the other upcoming projects as well so yeah it's great news for fate fans so that was it that was this um the the trailer uh, my reaction to the trailer of fate grand order uh, solomon so if you guys enjoyed my oh and also uh, if i have made any mistranslation i you know you know apologize because obviously like i'm i'm not a, like i don't know japanese i i just like you know after hearing japanese for so many years i kind of have picked up on what you know each words mean so it is just like you know uh something that is like like i've never officially learned japanese or nothing like i have no knowledge about japanese like i just like picked everything up from anime and that's just my basis of knowledge so i might be wrong you know so if i'm wrong in my like you know the little translation in i did like i apologize and if is there if there's any native you know japanese speaker who is watching this video now uh, if there's any incorrect thing that i said you can definitely like let me know in the comment section so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to fate grand order uh, solomon so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe because i put out fate grand order stuff um weekly or sometimes uh, two or three times in a week it depends and there will be the playlist will be given below in the description box of my uh you know my fate playlist if your playlist you can check my other like fate related stuff that i did as well and also the original link of the video will be also be given in the description box so yeah so yeah guys um uh, thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, in the next video whatever you know uh, video like i usually do anime reactions but if you guys are interested you should definitely like you know check out my other fate stuff as well and i usually do fate stuff uh, once a week uh, sometimes like uh, this time like uh, I, I as soon as i heard that fate grand order uh, solomon has uh, launched a trailer i decided to like you know react to it so like uh, th this week it will be like two or three uh, fate related stuff i'm uh, putting out so it depends on you know usually i do one uh, video per week so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys again i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day